Hey guys, welcome to a new Web Design Tuts Plus tutorial. My name is Adi Purdila, and today I want to introduce you to an awesome web design tool. It's called Macaw, and it's built by Tom Giannatasio and Adam Christ. Uh, you can find more information at its website, which is macaw.co. At the time this video was recorded, the application wasn't launched yet, actually, uh, but it should be available as we speak. Now, Tom was kind enough to offer a license so I could try out the product and show you guys what it's all about. So let me show you the application. Uh, this is it. Of course, this is uh, being viewed on a lower resolution, so you can actually see the whole page here. But if you're working on a larger display, then you should be just fine. As I said, Macaw is a web design tool. It has this beautiful and simple interface that you can use to design and actually build web pages. And the cool thing is, once you're finished designing, you can go to File, Publish. And that will convert your design into semantic HTML and CSS. So in these first videos, I'll give you a quick tour of the application. So let's start. Uh, on the very top, there is the page navigation. So you basically have uh, this first page here called index in its own tab. And if you click this uh, menu icon, you're going to see the, the page list. You can duplicate a page, you can delete it, or you can create a brand new page. So for example, um, page two, create. And now you can switch between them and you can also choose from uh, from here, the one you wanna, you wanna view. Next is the view mode. So for example, let's say I have a few elements on, on my page. Let's add some text as well. So there are three view modes. The first one is normal, which is the default. The second is outline, which only shows uh, a border around each element. And the third one is wireframe, which might look the same as the normal one. But uh, the difference is, if I color, if I color this, and I go back to wireframe, you'll notice it's in black and white. The wireframe view mode basically shows you the page in black and white. So I'm just gonna switch back to, to normal here. On the right side, there are some controls for the responsive features. Uh, more specifically, for example, this one is the default breakpoint at 1200 pixels. Uh, I'll talk more about the responsive features uh, in a future video. Now, this bar right here will actually change depending on the tool that you have selected. So if I uh, select the text tool, it will change its contents. Or if I draw a rectangle, right, it will change its contents, uh, giving me the options for uh, the positioning of that element, its origin with these three points, and also the distance from the left and the top. And again, uh, more about this stuff in a future video. Right now, I just want to give you like a brief overview of the entire application of its uh, user interface, show you what kind of options you have, what kind of tools you have. And this will be followed by a more comprehensive uh, session in the near future. But that's about it for this first video. Uh, coming up, the tool panels on the sides. 